Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, today in this video, we're going to walk through how to apply an ICT work permit or you can say ICT work visa for Canada step by step. Before I proceed further, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe right now. And also I would like to clarify neither I am an immigration consultant nor I am a government body. So if you take anything out of this video, do it at your own risk. All right guys, so let's proceed. So guys, I'm not going to go into the criteria of this work permit, but instead I'm going to limit myself towards the uh, application. So the very first thing is like I have logged in into the GCK account. You can log in into yours and we have to go through the wizard. So we'll click to apply to come to Canada. We don't have a checklist, so we are going to create one for ourselves. So this was under work permit. So I click on that. What would you like to do in Canada? I select for now. I'm going to put sample answers to these questions. I'll create a sample case scenario, but you need to do as per your case. Whatever I put here is not real. So do as per your case. How long you are planning to stay in Canada? Let's say you are planning to work for two years. Select the code that matches your passport. Let's say you are an Indian national. Do it as per your case. What is your current country or territory of residence? So I select India. Do you have a family member who is a Canadian citizen, permanent resident and 18 years of year old? I select no. What is your date of birth? So you need to do as per your case. As I have always said, not what you see here. So I put 96. OK, just sample. And I put uh, anything. Four. Yeah, that's fine. Are you a lawful permanent resident of USA with a valid USA? Are you a green card holder? I select no. Do you have a job offer from my employer? Uh, I have a job offer and my employer gave me an offer of employment number or LMIA number. Uh, I select, uh, yeah, we have an offer of, uh, of uh, employment, so I select yes. What is the status of your job offer? So temporary, at least one year. OK, I select. Uh, if you uh, do you plan to work on one of the following uh, categories, I select no. But yes, read and find out. Are you coming to Canada as an active policy or special measure announced by us? I select no. Are you a spouse who is working for work permit? No. Graduated, recently graduated from a Canadian post institution? I select no. Next. Are you a spouse or a partner of a person who, store, who holds a valid study permit? I select no. Metal status, I select single. But uh, if you have definitive right, what is your provincial territory of destination? Let's say he is going to Ontario, just sample. Foreign worker visitor visa required. OK. Next. Continue. Your valid work permit study but need a visa to return to Canada. I select no. He doesn't have a work permit. What type of work permit do you apply for? OK, now read through it very carefully. Seasonal labor market impact assessment for an intra company transfer. Yes, so th this is something that's going to change the way uh, I mean checklist populates based on your choice, of course. And you need to have some patience also. Sometimes when you click a button, it may take time. Are you come up a company of family member that has a status in Canada? I select no. Have you ever committed or still been charged or convicted for any criminal offense in any country? I select no. Have you had a medical exam performed by as of in the last 12 months? I select no. Whatever is the criminal person. Have you visited or lived in one of the designated countries for six months in last year? I select yes. Whatever is applicable in your case. Okay. Do you want to submit an application for a family member? I select no. Are you giving someone access to your application? I select no. In past 10 years, have you given fingerprint or biometric? I select no. There are fees of that. Will you be paying fee or are you free as well? Yes, you'll be paying the fee. Why not? Are you able to make a digital copy of a scanner camera? Yes, why not? That's why it's doing online. Will you be paying the fee online? Yes. OK, review all the answers, check every answer at least two times. And if you're clear, click on continue. Now it shows the uh, uh, steps and the document format that you can. Now checklist is popular. We'll go through that soon.
okay so now uh, we have reached here checklist so first of all see what are the documents evidence of company relationship you can always click on this company you work for in country origin on the canadian company you intend to work while you are in canada okay okay so proof of business establishment letter from current employer passport invitation letter digital photo request from medical exam family information form proof that you meet the job requirements okay you can always click here and then find out what are the things they see okay and optional documents client information letter is like uh, i all strongly recommend even schedule one uh, 5802 uh, this one is new they have introduced looks like all right so or in this video schedule one i will include a link family information also i'll include a link that you can do and once you are through all of this mandatory slots uh, then next option will become enable here where you can go ahead and make the main of course i will not go through that so i'll start with this 5802 and we'll see okay let me search for this form because it doesn't look like clickable no worries we'll find it out okay i want to submit offer of employment where can i find in most cases it must be submitted online through the employer portal and there is no longer accepted because then why it is uh being there okay so that that means if employer is gonna do then uh there's nothing we need to worry about employer will do that fine okay directive over there so i don't even need to go through that five two five seven and this one will come as link this one let's go through ah uh, no worries i'm gonna open it so we are gonna walk through how to fill up imm 1295e application for work permit made outside canada for an ict sample application but as i have said neither i'm an immigration consultant nor i'm a government body so take out of this you do it at your own risk all right guys so the very first thing is uci so if it is your first application you do not have uci but don't worry ir is going to create that for you then you are going to select i want service in i select english sample family name as shown in your passport given name have you ever used any other name before gender date of birth do it as per your, your case but one thing guys like whatever you enter here data but make sure it matches with of course first of all your passport your document and also the questionnaire that you have gone through the wizard otherwise uh, it may create trouble when you upload the document because this you are not going to print and upload you're going to fill it up validate generate the barcodes then and then you're going to upload it you can write your name in place of signature that gets accepted because i've seen that in my case citizenship whatever is applicable in your case current country or territory of residence so let's say this guy is in india status as citizen previous country territory of residence. during past five years have you lived in any country territory other than your country of citizenship or your current country territory of residence indicator i select no but if you have definitely do that country or territory we are applying same where residence yes your current matter status single have you possibly been married or common language? I select no. Language, native language. Are you able to communicate in English or French? I select English. Have you taken an exam? I select no. Passport. Be very careful with these details, guys. Right? A lot of people do minor mistakes and then they struggle. Verify at least two times. And when you enter date, date formats are very important. You can of course select but again check it check your passport and then enter and check it two times not just once for this trip will you use a passport issued by this, this questions are already disabled national document you can select yes if you have 
and put the number and details. I'm just putting sample. USPR or green card holder, I select no. Contact information, mailing address, city, town. Do it nicely and properly. Don't do like that. That I am doing. It's the same as mailing address. I select yes. Telephone number, others. Because this guy is like from India. So I select Indian phone number. Country code of India is 91. And I just put number. Email address is very important. Do it nicely, not what I what I'm showing you. What type of work permit are you applying for? Exemption from labor market impact assessment. Okay, name of employer. Okay. Definitely, if you have ICT, you have this information. Intended location of employment, you have that information already. I'm just putting some sample. Job title, brief description, duty. Definitely, you can write that. Duration of expected employment. Yeah, this is very important. I'm just putting some sample. Education. Have you had your post second education, including university, college, and facility? Yes. If answer, give full details of a highest level. Details of your highest level of okay. Highest level education only they have asked. Okay. Highest level. Okay. So uh, let's say this guy has done 10 plus 2 plus 4. I mean, engineering four years. And typically they graduate in uh, if without drop 18 years. So 96, 18 is how much? 2014 to 2013. Let's say I'm just putting sample. 2014, 05 to 2018. Oh, I'm sorry. You do as per your case, guys, not by this field and level of study. So I'll write PTEC in IT school, New Delhi. This is just sample, guys. College, city, town, new, Delhi, country, India. Employment. Give the details of employment past, including if you held any government position. Okay. So now, right now, we are in 2024. So that means from 2014, uh, they need data. So you have you will include your education too. Let's so let's say this guy like after passing here 2018 onwards, he is working in the company. So first enter that. And then uh, even education and all, if you have un unemployed or something, all the information you have to give. I'm just skipping it because I just want to give sample, but provide that employment info with the most recent one over here. Okay, because for the most recent one, this is mandatory. Within past two years, tubercul lung tuberculosis, no. Physical mental disorder. Have you remained beyond the validity of your status or uh, authorization in Canada? Refused visa work permit or Canada in another country? Have you press apply to enter remain in Canada? So I assume this guy's first application, so I select no. Have you ever committed arrested for charge with any criminal offense? No. Have you ever served military measure, civil defense? I select no. But if you have definitely provided the information, have you ever mastered a partial? I select no, but definitely for information. You can select the date here. And then uh, signature, like you can just type the name. Right now, validation will fail because one section I have not entered. Offer of employment, LMIA, offer employment number. So, yeah, I'll just see this. In career, following format A. Okay, thanks for giving me format. A three three six seven digits three six okay wow but well, still this is okay no worries twenty eighteen zero six current activity so I'll just the job title okay IT consultant 
company new Delhi I did it did it did it down new Delhi country India okay before and after that education detail also you enter then that's fine now it will it will pass the validation yeah and it's gonna generate barcodes as well perfect now this will be uploaded so I'll take you back to the VC key now okay so I'm back here so the, that form you got to upload here and these documents and then for five six four five and schedule one I'm going to include the link in the description you can use that and then as I and I, and I was all strongly recommended go for plant information later because that's an excellent opportunity to explain your case and then we will go to the next line means after you complete all the mandatory film system will allow you to go to the next where they can digitally sign this application so thanks for watching this video guys please subscribe to the channel thank you